Hello and welcome. In this short video, we will be learning closure of attribute or attributes. So, what is closure of attribute? Closure of attribute X is the set of attributes which we can determine using this X. Okay, so this closure is represented as X plus. Okay, where plus is in superscript. So, let's understand this with an example. Here we have a relation which has attribute a, b, c, d and e and we have few functional dependencies given. Now let's try to find out what is closure of attribute a. So that we will be representing as a plus. So here we have to find out what are the attributes which can be determined with a. So a of course can determine itself. So it will be a then from this functional dependencies first functional dependency we know that a can determine d so we will write here d now as we have both a and d so we can reuse them okay so then d can determine b right so a can determine d and d can determine b so transitively a can determine b also so let's write it down b now from b we can determine c right and we have already b so we can determine c now c and e determines b so this cannot be used now using this these available attributes we cannot determine any other attribute okay so this is closure of attribute a okay. this a b c and d attributes I mean set of these attributes are closer of A. So it is something like A is a person who knows D, D knows B, B knows C and E knows B and I am asking who are the persons A knows including himself so then uh, and of course directly or indirectly so then we then the, the collection of persons A knows directly or indirectly is closer of a so let's uh, find out closer for some other attribute let's say we have to find out closer for b and d okay so b d plus equal to of course b and d now b can determine c so we'll have c and D can determine B but B is already there here so yeah, that's all so for BD closer will be BD and C okay let's say now find out the closer for A and E okay so A plus so of course these element will be there so A and E now from A I can determine D so D now from D this D attribute using this functional dependency I can determine B so let's include B now from B using this functional dependency I can determine C so let's include C and E is already there so make a point here this A E can determine all the attributes right so closer of a is set of all the attributes in relation R it means a is a candidate key okay so this is the concept of closer and uh, let's solve a problem on this uh, concept of closer of attributes in the next video. Thanks for watching.